You probably know James Durbin as a former contender on American Idol. Now the rocker is about to release his sophomore solo album, and he joins me now. Number two. Number two. Jones. Yeah, good to have you here Thank today. Thank you for having me. So it's been a couple of years since we've spoken. I mean, last time we were talking about your debut album, now the solo album. So what can you tell me about this album in terms of sound? I hear it's, you know, from what I've heard, it's a little bit more poppy. It's still rock, though. Yeah, it's definitely still rock. It's just kind of toning things down a little bit. I'm young. I'm 25. I'm... Like, why do I have to be yelling all the time? I, I want to I wanna be able to sing songs that I can kind of serenade the audience rather than yelling at them. What kind of themes, what kind of, you know, topics are you addressing on this record? I still like to let people know that I'm just like them. A lot, I have a lot of fans who are on the autism spectrum, as am I. While I'm, while I'm still letting everyone know that I'm just like you and we're the same, you're, like I have a song called You're Not Alone, but then I mix in with just fun, poppy, sing-along, big choruses. One of those is Parachute, the lead mm -hmm. track. Uh, how did that song come about? The song started off as a ballad. Quickly we're like, let's, let's kick it up a notch, you know, let's make this a fun one. This could be the single. Lo and behold, it turned out to be the single. And we wrote it and kept rewriting the lyrics to it until it was just perfect. Cool. And we definitely hit the nail on the head and it's a great song to play. It's a lot of fun to sing. Not coming down no And you've been testing it out on tour acoustically. What's your tour like, you know, stripping it down? It's going great. I've been kind of calling it my living room tour because it's like, if only my living room were in like a shady basement and it had a cool stage and I invited a bunch of really cool strangers over. And But now they all know where I live, so I have to move. <laughs> I like it. I yeah. like it. I like the shady basement But comparison. it's been fun. It's been intimate. It's been a lot of fun. Just get to strip it down and, and really just let my vocals shine. Nice. Well, in addition to music, you've been really vocal about anti-bullying campaigns and that kind of thing. Do you think we've made strides in that department? Absolutely. Just in the past couple of years. I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't, there was no one coming into my school saying like, you know, let's stop, let's end bullying together. And uh, there was nothing. It was like, I got bullied and I went to the principal and I got beat up and all this stuff and, and no one ever seemed to do anything about it. So it's like now that people are actually caring it seems like, and it's actually a national epidemic. I mean, the president of the United States talks about it. I mean, that's big, you know? Sure, all right, right, and you're a dad now. I mean, what advice would you give your son? Gosh, hang out with your friends. I mean, I didn't really have a lot of friends, so I was kind of uh, a lone target as it was. But just don't fight, don't fight, and if something's actually happening and people are hurting you and and, and, it, and it hurts you to be bullied, then just tell someone, tell everyone. Tell everyone you can, because if you just keep it inside, it can't be solved. Sure, and it's good that you have a platform that you know we can get the word out about all these issues, for sure. Absolutely. A lot of people got to know you from American Idol. New season kicked off recently. Have you been watching? I have been watching, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's been great, I think it's really good. I really like the judges this year. Um, there's not any cattiness. It's all fun. It's really chill. It's like it's like a sitcom. It's like if, if Keith Urban and Harry Connick Jr. had a sitcom. It's like Three's Company. And I then love Jennifer's Three's in company, there. Yes. It's it's like Three's Company. <laughs> it's like a modern Three's Company. I like that comparison. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming by today, James. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. James Durbin, his new album is called Celebrate. For this and all things entertainment, stay at CBSnews.com.